Welcome to the introduction to the call for research applications. In this video, we will guide you through the application form for phase one. Once you've clicked on the link on our website, you'll be directed to our online application system, Survey Monkey Apply, where you will be asked to register for an account, or you may click on login if you have created an account previously. If this is your first time using the system, you must fill out the eligibility questions in order to view the program. I will now show you the application form. Once you're logged in, you must click on More. And to create an application, you must click on Apply. Here you must name your application. It is possible to edit the name up until submission by clicking on the three dots and rename. Here is an overview of the application form and the list of tasks that need to be completed before you can submit the application. You have the option of inviting collaborators if you would like to allow team members to have access to add and edit the form. And now I will guide you through the tasks. This first task, basic information, is a so-called reusable task and therefore it is important to note that if you have submitted an application or report through SurveyMonkey Apply before, this message may pop up. This allows you to reuse data from a previous application or report. To proceed with this application, you must click on Cancel, and you can now fill out the information relating to this new project idea. Please note that you may experience the same with the tasks, project participants, and partner institutions. It is important that you adhere to the guidelines. Therefore, in each task, we link to a website or the call text, and you may also find it helpful to go through the task-specific guidelines. When you fill out each task, you can click on Save and Continue Editing at the bottom of each task to ensure that data is saved. Once all the fields are filled out and the CV of the project coordinator has been uploaded successfully, you must click on Mark as Complete. If you would like to edit a completed task, you click on the three dots in the top right corner and choose Edit. In the task project details, you must first choose the relevant group of eligible countries. And once this is done, the rest of the form will appear. The project start date must be between the 1st of February and the 1st of April. And the project period must be up to a maximum of five years. The last part of the task relates to the project idea and the composition of the research team. And now we move on to the budget frame. Here you must provide information about the grant applied for, co-funding, etc. In this next task, you must list at least one researcher from each partner institution, project participant if it's a private sector partner. Here you choose a number of project participants. From this video, the information in this task is pre-populated for your reference. Besides the requested information, you must also upload a CV for each participant. Please note that the project coordinator should not be listed here, only the project participants. You can easily add more participants to the list by increasing the number. If you would like to decrease the number of participants, the system will always delete from the bottom of the list. Therefore, if you would like to delete participant number two out of three, you must manually delete the information for number two and insert the details of number three, the last one on the list, as number two. Once this is done, you can change the total number to two. Now it is time to provide information about the partner institutions. For each partner institution, you must choose a type of partner primary or secondary. The last two tasks relating to the endorsements can only be completed by the applicant, the so-called owner of the application. It is only possible to click on this task once the following tasks are completed. Basic information, project details, budget frame, project participants, and partner institutions. Here, the project coordinator must send a request for endorsement to the head of the responsible institution. As you may notice, it says recommendation, but please disregard any mentioning of a recommendation. 
This task relates only to the endorsement by the head of the responsible institution. Once you have filled out the details, you click on Send Request. The head of the responsible institution will now receive a notification by email. As you can see, the request has now been successfully sent to the head of the responsible institution. I will now act as the head of the responsible institution to show how the endorsement works. Please note that this will be the same for phase two, where endorsement by each project participant and partner institution are mandatory. As the head of the responsible institution, I have received this email and I must click on the link. Once I have logged into SurveyMonkey Apply, I'm then directed to this page and I can now preview the application. Afterwards, the head of a responsible institution needs to either decline or accept the request. Once I click on accept, there's a short statement to read through. I check the box and click on submit. The applicant will also be informed that the endorsement has been completed via email and within the application form, the status for the request has changed from requested to received. Now we're almost ready to submit the application. There is just one final task to complete. As the project coordinator, this will be your endorsement of the project idea. And once you have checked the box, you click on Mark as complete. And the submit button turns green and you can now submit the application. We encourage all applicants to download the application prior to submission to ensure that everything is in order and all files have been uploaded successfully. If you would like to download the application, we recommend that you do so on the front page under My Applications. Here you click on the three dots and download. You can download the full application or you can choose specific application tasks before downloading the application. Once you're ready to submit the application, you must go back to the overview of all the tasks by clicking on Continue. and then on Submit. You will then receive an email confirming the submission. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please contact us at research at dfcenter.dk.